talking about how to create an item list. I have started an agent at the cabelas.com website. I will be creating an item list using the information that is shown on the page. We will be capturing different information about boots. To begin, I will first click on create an item list. After I have clicked on create an item list, I will need to select the first item in the list followed by the next item that I would like included in the list. After I have clicked on the second item that I would like included on the list, the agent builder will open a box. I will name this category Shoes. You can see that that information is captured in the capture text preview below. As you look at this page, you will notice that only the top information was captured. On page one, you'll see the begin item list as well has also been created. There's a capture shoes action and then an end list action. Next, I would like to add the products that are shown below the gray area. I will click on add an alternate location. You'll notice that as I click on the first item and scroll put and place my mouse over different items on the page, the agent builder will recognize those items, whether they are in the same row or on different rows, but in different columns as well. After I've clicked on the second item on the second row below, the rest of the items will be added to the item list. Next I will need to continue setting up my agent builder. I will click on one product. You'll notice that this product page has two different categories including a 6 inch hunting boot and a 9 inch hunting boot. From this web page I will need to create another item list. After I've created my item list I will name this category subcategory. After I've given the name subcategory and clicked OK. I can then click on the first item. This will take me to the individual product page. From this product page, by holding down control or clicking on capture text or image, I would like to capture the name, the item number, as well as the price. This information is displayed below. Once I have captured the information from the product page, I would like to go back to my first page and click on another product. By clicking on another product, this will ensure that the information that I have specified on page 3 is still found. You can see that after I clicked on another page, the agent builder was expecting to find a subcategory list. Because this subcategory list was not found on this page, there an error has occurred. You will notice that on page 2, the begin item list is shown in red. By clicking on Begin Item List, I can then tell the Agent Builder that this is the wrong page, and the page I'm looking at is currently an existing page. An existing page means that it is a page that I've already seen, or a similar page, and that I've already captured information. After I click the, the item is an existing page, I will match it to page 3, and you will notice that the Agent Builder has automatically recognized that that information has already been captured. You'll notice on page 2, the click item will take us to page 3, or if the list is not found, we will also continue on to page 3. After you've created an agent, it is also helpful to test that agent. Testing the agent allows you to see which information is captured and correct any mistakes that you've made while creating the agent. The last thing to be aware of while creating item lists is a list pager. This means that items are found on multiple lists. On this page, no list pager is found.